it has taken me four years to become a software engineer. Four years. Four years since I bought my first Udemy course and um, started hitting it hard. And I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it was four straight years. I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I would say uh, I probably hit it hard the first two months and then I gave it like two or three weeks break and I pretty much start up that same thing. I probably had a span of two or three months where I didn't do anything with web development. And then when I came back to my projects, um, I was kind of lost and I needed refreshers uh, to get me back up to the level uh, that I believed I was at. But I got it. Uh, it was one of, <laughs> the interview was kind of shaky shaky. I'm not gonna lie, I got there late. Uh, my my clothes was too tight. I have a story on that coming out later. It's pretty funny, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that that it, I'm just saying that because not everything you say or do have to be perfect. Um, I am self-taught. I do not have a computer science degree, although I do have a degree in aviation management, which is like a um management degree or a business degree with a heavy um, aviation background so i have that um did it help me did it not I, I don't know i'm loving where i'm working you know um i'm letting you guys know i'll just tell you guys right now if you're making projects and you're not doing data structures and algorithms and you want to do um you know full stack or back-end work Learn data structures and algorithms. Learn it, learn it, learn it. Because I probably would have became a, I probably would have got a job two years ago. Uh, it didn't hit me until recently that, oh, snap. Maybe if I knew data structures and algorithms, I could solve these freaking, you know, technical interviews that I'm getting. So um, I don't know why it took me so long. But I figured that out and um, I got a job not too far after. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie. That's not the only reason. Um, but I'll go into more detail later. Um, if you guys, you know, want to hear more of these, these stories, well, I didn't even tell the story yet. But I have plenty of stories about everything. I have stories about everything. Um, how did I get the job? Um, the job I took before my current job because I thought it was going to be easier. Because that's one thing I think that helped me was um, find a job that's, you know, not going to use too much of your time. Because if you're working hard, eight, ten hours a day, and when you get home, you just, you're not trying to learn. Right? I know there's a few that might, but I know for me, nah. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to listen to some music. I'm going to play some, some uh, Call of Duty or some Hell Let Loose. And I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, and I'm gonna eat uh, eat a meal in there somewhere. But um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I have plenty of stories about that and how that helped me. Um, and yeah, how I got you know what planted the seed to take web development seriously. Uh, I have stories on that, but um. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of little chunks, little nuggets. Some of them helpful, some of them not helpful. Uh, you know, if you want to hear more, or if you want to even start, no, if you want to hear more of those, uh, you know, just hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can hit the bell if you want to. Uh, that way, you know, you'll be notified as soon as I upload some, you know, some of this foolishness. And, um, yeah, I'm saying and I'm um, a whole bunch. But yeah, don't mind the background. Um, I tried to not procrastinate, and I know if I would have waited till I cleaned up my room and got a better camera, then I probably would never start at this whole thing. So I'm starting with what I got, and um, you know, no regrets. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good day.